Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. So today we are talking about women over 70 love this makeup hack. Are you ready? Let's get this beauty started. So before I get into the video, I have partnered with Wing Wellness. Again, you know it's a woman-based business. I love supporting women, and I've been mentioning this product for two years now because I organically found it, and it's helped me so much. So they just came out with two new products, and I had to share because I almost had to like chuckle when I was when I was saying them out loud. So the first one they have is a vegan gummy. It's called Calm and Collected. This is for stress support gummies, and re <laughs> remember. I have not been very calm and collected, which I really have been sharing here on the channel that there's been a struggle with just a lot of things that are unexpected that I, you know, whether it's the house, whether it's the brand, rebranding, packaging, logistics, you name it, I have not been so calm and collected. And then we have Happy Her, which is also a vegan gummy. This is mood boosting gummy. Okay, so these are clinically proven ingredients in here. I'm gonna tell you what's in the calm and collected, which has really been my pillar lately. This has the KSM 66, Ashkawanda, GABA, L-theanine and passion flower. So this is really a nice, easy supplement to be able to take and to really kind of even out and just really just calm down. That's really something that I really need to focus in on, especially when things are so out of my control. And then happy her. This is happy mind and positive feelings. This has the saffron, the lemon balm, lion's mane mushroom, and l tyranese So these two are wonderful. You can bundle them together for 44, regularly 50. You know, I always have my coupon code for you, Nicole 20. And you also can put these on auto ship, which is great because then you don't have to think about it. That's one thing. I always am running out of the sleepies and I'm like, you know what? Let's just put them on auto because it just makes life so much easier. But of course we have a couple stats here about how women experience stress twice the rate that men do. What is new, right? So this is really something that we really need to concentrate on with anxiety, depression, it can lead to sleep disturbances, chronic stress, which can really impact the cortisol levels and hormone balance. So this is something that I'm always very aware of, especially when I'm going through you know, challenging times, a lot of different moving parts and what have you. And I always rely on my winged wellness products because it's just something that I've found. I've been taking them. I see the difference. And I've heard from all of you in my videos in the comments below that you've also had really great positive experiences. So it makes me feel so great. So you can always find the code below. These are something that I've been taking to just kind of really mellow out. And I thought they would be nice for you. So let's get into the video. All right, ladies, we're going to go into a beautiful makeup tutorial, very simple using fresh beauty eyeshadow palette. But this is really about the hack that women over seventies and eighties really love and see a huge difference with their skin. Now I know this because my customers are in their seventies and eighties, some of them, and they've been writing in talking about the color correctors. Now, a lot of women know about color correctors, but don't implement it into their makeup routine and are really missing out. If you're over 40, 50, 60, 70s, 80s, 90s, this is a really important factor because you're going to be able to lift and neutralize the color first underneath the eyes, and then you put on your concealer so your concealer is not working that hard, and you're getting that really beautiful, vibrant, fresh look. The look that we're all going for. Because look, I have to show up with nothing on my skin and I'm not always thrilled. I have a lot of redness and I have a lot of pigmentation as I'm aging and it's just par for the course, right? So I feel very confident using my Just Peachy. It's been a big deal for me, especially when I go on set and I'm doing other women's makeup over my fierce aging. You know I'm always using color correctors. So I reformulated these to be more concentrated. So you are really getting a lot of product in this little little kind of tube that twists up and has shea butter in it. It moves with your skin. It doesn't just sit on your skin. It moves with your skin. It's going to really be a nice feature to color correct. So you can go with just peachy like I do. I have my no redness, which is really for all this redness that you see. We're going to, I'm going to use it today for that. And then if you have really those purples or those reds underneath the eye, dark, dark grays, you can go in with extreme cancel, which is orange. And that's going to really help neutralize. And then you put your concealer over. So if you have a darker skin, this is a great one to do medium tone skin. So we're going to do that. And we always start off speaking of neutralizing with our eye primer. This is something where I have pigmentation on my eyes and I want to neutralize it because if I put over this beautiful pink, light, light pink over pigmented skin, it's going to look like that. It's going to mix in and it's going to look muddied and I want it to look true. What I see here is what I want to see on my eye. So I always go in with my eye primer first and I just take a little bit 
I tap it like twice, go from the base of the lash all the way up to the brow bone, and I make sure I go into the inner corner here and I really lighten up the eye. So this is going to be a very big game changer for you if you haven't done that or you haven't used an eye primer for keeping your eyeshadow on all day, not having it crease, but see how I have lifted the color. So now it's going on a neutral base. It's not going on this and the, these browns and a little bit of purples and blues and trying to look true. All right, so my eye primer is on, going right into my Fresh Beauty eyeshadow palette. I think I'm gonna just use these two colors, the little bit of the pink and then the darkest color. I'm going to take my sh short shadow brush, and this is from my Essential Makeup brush collection, and I'm going to just, just sweep it across. This is really a beautiful, fresh look, hence the name Fresh Beauty. You are just giving your eyelids that lift, that pop that you're looking for, but not kind of putting on too much eyeshadow. So I'm gonna just go from the base of the lash, just actually my lid here, and then I'm gonna just take my short smudge brush, and I'm going to go into the darkest color at the top here, and I really, you know, maybe just want to give a little bit of depth just in this corner, not going too much, but it's very, very kind of sheer. So it's, you can see it's not giving you tons and tons of darkness, which is really nice. Maybe just go in a little bit above here. Just making it look really just very pretty, very soft. Now that I just have a little bit of dimension, I will go in with my dark chocolate and I will use this waterproof liner to give a little bit more dimension to the lashes. So before I do that, I want to curl my lashes so I don't disrupt any of the eyeliner. Once I go, I don't wanna do this, curling my lashes after I have the eyeliner on because it will move the liner on your lid. Eye lashes are up. Now I'm going to just go to the base of my lash. This is what's really important. If you want to give yourself a really nice thick lash line. So you're making your lashes look thicker than they are. You're literally in the lashes. I teach this all the time in my videos that you wanna go almost like you're, see, you can see the space of the lid between your lashes. So you're wiggling in between and really, you're not on the tight line though. You're right on the actual lid and you are creating more depth. So you're not giving a big wing or a big heavy lash line there if that is not what you want. If you want it to be really fresh beauty and looking very minimalistic, this is the way to get your, your eyes lined but not looking like they're heavy and they're you know causing too much of that kind of makeup eyeliner look. All right, so we have the eyeliner on now. We're gonna go right in with my Volume Up mascara. This is a great mascara if you are looking for volume, if you are looking to really lengthen the lashes. I go to the base of the lashes, I will go back and forth, and then I go straight up. So again, this application is going to be really a beautiful application because the wand now can be twirled. You don't have to go in and then straight up. So I wanted you to be able to roll it, have more control, and be able to use a less product. Now this is a really easy way with this wand to get that faux lash look. If you want that kind of lash extension look, I mean, it's just so beautiful. Get a lot of volume with this mascara. Now, what we're gonna do is we're going to, let's see if we have anything on the skin. So I just use a little Almay pad and I can clean up underneath the eye if anything fell under my eye. So not too much. So this is really important because if you do your foundation, I talk about this a lot, or your concealer and you have you start doing your eyes or you have mascara that hits your nose or what have you and you've done your makeup, you've done your foundation and then you do your eyes, you have to like work backwards. To me, do the eyes, have a clean face, then perfect the skin, have beautiful skin when you finish. That makes so much more sense to me. So I'm using the Avene. This is going to be the Physio Lift Serum. I'm just gonna do a nice light serum on the skin. Hydrate. You can see it's like really glossy finish is very beautiful. Also, I'm gonna just take a little, uh, this is Chanel, it's the Le Blanc. This is the Rosy Light Drops. I'm gonna just take one little squirt of this and I'm going to put it on my skin just to give that, you know, just to give it like a nice base of some light reflective. We have that beautiful light reflective. We have this beautiful serum on. Now, this is the time the skin changes. So I'm going to take my Just Peachy. I rolled it up a little bit. And I'm going to go into this inner corner. I'm gonna come underneath and I'm gonna come down a little bit. 
right like that. So that is going to be lifting that pigmentation. See this pigmentation right here I have? Not thrilled. See this over here? I can see my nice, beautiful blue vein coming out now. And then I have this kind of blue green here. Go up right into that corner. Make sure you hit this because that is always that shadow that they ha you have there. And then I'm gonna keep it just like that for right now. Then what I do is I'll go in with my no redness and really get this little area here. This is my area I cannot handle with so much redness. So what I do is I can easily press this in with my finger so I am eradicating that redness. Then I will take the Just Peachy that I have here and I'm going to press it into my under eye area. I like the warmth of my finger pressing it into my skin and coming up right where I put it because if I took a sponge, I feel that it really absorbs the product and takes it away. I don't want to use a brush and be going back and forth. I really want to just push it in. I used to do that with my foundation buffing brush, but with this formula, I find it to be better to push it into the skin. So you really have a lot of control. You're able to really see where, oh, you know what? I need a little bit more or, oh, you know what? This is perfect. So when you press it in with your finger, you're really being able to see exactly where you're putting it and getting that flawless finish. So we've just diffused the darkness and the redness in my skin here, and you don't see any of that kind of green cast, what have you. And even if you did, you're going to be going over with your foundation. I'm gonna actually just do a tiny bit more right here in this area here press it in and then I can go over with my creamy concealer. Any concealer that you like, you can go over with. I'm using La Mer, the soft fluid. This is in color 110 shell. And you know that I love this beautiful serum foundation. I'm gonna just take my foundation buffing brush and I'm gonna work it into the skin. I don't wanna go, I wanna avoid that area. So I will buff this over the rest of my skin, pressing in just around my nose area, but I'm not gonna swipe around where I put my color corrector because I'm gonna go over it with a little concealer. I'm just using my Chanel concealer and I will just go into these areas here since I did do a nice coverage of my just peachy. So I will take a little bit of this concealer to give me a really beautiful highlight. Anything is a little bit more dark in this area can just give it that nice brightness. Now what I'll do is I'll take my Nikita banana, which is my brightening powder, and I'm going to just take my powder brush and going to set it. This is really an important step. You want to set your under eyes in like maybe your T-zone, depending on how oily you get. This really works for me. Setting this concealer with my color corrector, especially in my T-zone area, I'm going to take a little cream blush in the color Palm Beach. It just looks really beautiful on the skin and it almost looks like one skin. Like it's like my skin coming through. It's very pretty. You can go as high as you want, depending on your face shape. You know, you don't have to follow what I'm doing. If you feel that you like it to be a little bit higher, if you like it, depending on your bone structure, I like to try to keep mine a little bit higher, not so low. And then I really press it into the skin. Cream blushes are beautiful for mature skin. They just really beautifully radiate add that kind of hydration to the skin. Don't sit on the skin. They go into the skin so it really looks pretty. I'm gonna take my Lip Liner Cameo and then I'm going to take my, one of my most popular, Coco 13. You ladies love this and you're loving the new formula which is making me very, very happy. So I see all of your emails and all of your reviews coming through and it really, I am so excited because I know what a difference it is. It's like so high shine and smooth and creamy and just really moisturizing compared to what you had been using. So very excited. Now you can take the lip liner if you want to and you can fill in the rest of your lip and this will give it a little bit more staying power, especially if you're not using a lipstick. I'm just gonna go in with the Coco 13 and you'll see like this beautiful high shine. It's like such a beautiful spring, just natural look to the face. And then you know what, let's just, let's not forget a little tiny bit, I'm gonna use Coco, a little tiny bit of the brow fix on my brows. I have some white hairs coming through. They'll easily be covered by using a little brow fix over them. And there you go. Now, we don't wanna forget using a little fix makeup from Clarence, one of my favorite little makeup spray or setters. Just always a nice way to finish off your makeup, especially 
if you want to just add a little hair mist also. I always have these on my table here. Rose of No Man's Land is one of my favorites. I also have my Baccarat Rouge 50. I talk to you about this a lot because the perfume is so expensive. So if you want to cheat, you can do a hair mist instead. Get the same fragrance, but it's like less, but it's in your hair. And so it just really is just a beautiful something. It's like a nice little spruce gift to give to yourself. It's under $100. You're getting that beautiful fragrance. It uplifts your mood, makes your hair smell amazing. So this is the look, ladies. I am so thrilled that you're loving my color correctors, that you're seeing real results. It's helping you feel more confident, more beautiful, and really having you work less and work not work as hard on your makeup. So ladies, until my next video, I'll see you later.